Staining was a technique employed by Helen Frankenthaler and Morris Lewis in the 1950s. Known as color field artists, they painted large canvases with fields of color. They used very fluid paints that ran and spread across the canvas like color veils. Today I'm going to use this technique to make a book cover, but I'll also show you how to make your own sketch pad in this two-part project. First, gather a stack of paper. It can be new or recycled, cut to any size, and a piece of chipboard the same size. Choose which edge it will be bound on and place a large clip on either side. Brush Lineco Padding Compound along the side making sure the entire edge is covered and allow it to overlap on the front, back, and on the sides. Set this aside to dry vertically, propped up against something. Once it's dry, apply a second coat of pad compound, let it dry again, then remove the clips and test the binding by flipping through the pages. Of course, there are endless materials to use for a cover, but unprimed canvas is great because it's heavyweight and inexpensive. I cut a piece of canvas an inch wider than the pad and long enough to wrap around the sketchbook with some to spare. Next, I tape it to a piece of scrap cardboard just along the edges. This will be helpful in keeping the paint on the canvas and off the table. I've thinned some Blick Studio acrylic colors with a small amount of water to make them fluid. Pour the color in the middle of the canvas. Then take a spray bottle with water in it and mist the dry areas of the canvas around the paint. Watch how the color flows and stains. Repeat with the next color. Experimentation is key. Try alternating colors and varying the paint consistency. Gravity can be helpful too. And don't be afraid to leave white space intact. Give it an hour or so to dry, then turn it over and stain from the back side. I have a dry piece here. The next step is to glue the sketch pad in place and design a means of closure. If you have enough canvas, you can wrap it around the edges and then roll one side like this. Glue it in place and you have a handy pencil pocket. I've stitched buttons on the front to wrap a string around as a closure and added some beads for fun. Now, I enjoy an unusual edge, so I cut this wave first and then applied black paint to define it. It's a personalized sketchbook that's a work of art in itself, and I can't wait to go fill it up. For complete instructions, a materials list, and national standards for visual arts education, visit dickblick.com.